Hello, this is Mark with Two Dog RC. I'm going to show you guys how I put my Feiyu gimbal onto my QAV 500 quadcopter. I'm it with some dual sky motors and Mad Dog batteries. So right here is our, our Feiyu gimbal. Uh, it has a whole bunch of extra equipment in here for mounting. Uh, you got a plate and then some other stuff. But what I did was I took this piece off. Uh, the gimbal would mount onto here, and then this mounts onto here, and makes a nice little hang, hang, hanging device. So I took this piece off. As you can see, there's two screws on that go in there, and they attach the gimbal. So I just undid those, and Tim actually had holes already pre-drilled um, underneath here, underneath this board. So I just put the screw, the same screws that came with it, and plugged it in there, and then this is the control board where you've got your power and your transmitter control and this goes out to the gimbal to power it and then here's this you can manually move the gimbal up and down so this is the version 1.25 on the gimbal I haven't upgraded because I like this firmware better so let me show you what it can do here okay so I'm going to plug my little Mad Dog 3 cell battery in Let's move this out of the way Okay. So with this gimbal, you have to give it a couple seconds. Once you plug it in, you're going to see a light flashing on the side. Uh, it's right here. It's a little purple light. All right, so let's go ahead here and plug it in. I'm plugging my Mad Dog 3-cell battery. I run a separate battery for my camera and GPS, on-screen display, transmitter. And so I'm going to run that battery to power the gimbal. It takes a couple seconds to power it up. And there you go. It's, it's powered up. Now the cool thing with this gimbal is, watch that, I got it set so there's 45 down about and then I've got it turning the straight down and all the way back up. I can check, I can set that on my Tyrannus here. So I have it set to the switch, uh, straight up is level, there's about 45 down and there's straight down. So. Now that's version 1.25. The next version of firmware operates a little differently, so you have to make sure you know which one you're on. Um, I can also uh, hook this up to the pitch and, and change the pitch, but what I did is, because I don't want to bump that channel while I'm flying, I don't have it hooked up to anything uh, as far as the, or not excuse me, the pitch, the roll. So it's always going to stay there. As you can see, it works pretty good. Here we got, just kind of hangs there. Now the Tranus doesn't like its receiver to be right next to it, so that's why you're hearing that. Alright, so we go to menu. We're using the QAV 500. Go next page, next page, next page, next page, next page. Alright, here's the fun stuff. As you can see here, I've got SB, that's this switch. That's my flight modes from auto level and whatever. I'm using the CC3D on this one. The next one here, this is for S1. I've got set up for PID tuning in case I want to do that. And then here is S2. Uh, channel 7 is set to SC. That's this switch. So what I did, let's edit that. Oh, excuse me, that's not where it is. It's the next page. Um, and then here, S2 and channel 8. Uh, if I wanted to, I can hook this in and control the roll, but I didn't do that. Let's go over here to our next page. And this is where channel 7 was the gimbal. And this is where I adjusted things. I reversed the channel so that it would full up, would be up where I want it to kind of make sense to me. And then I adjusted this min travel right here, put it at negative 45. I think that's about level. I haven't flown this yet. I'll, I'll go fly and fine tune that. And then what I did here is come over here to this uh, center and that's the middle position to switch so I put that about there about 45 down uh, not really sure uh, we'll see how that video turns out but I think that'd be pretty good and then the full bottom is straight down and if you wanted to change that that would be change here in the max so that's kinda how you change those up well thank you and uh, if you're interested in getting one of these gimbals we have them at twodogrc.com thank you